Welcome to Gouache with Anne. Today I'm painting Canada. Today I'm going to do a painting of the clock tower down in old Montreal. It was built in 1919 to 1922 and it's located right beside the St. Lawrence River. It's a place I like to come to often. Because there's a lot of sky in this picture, I decided to start with a nice blue wash. I want the sky to be a nice flat color. Laying in gouache in this way can be a bit tricky because the gouache dries quite quickly. So the effect can be streaky until it's finally dry. You can see at this point that I'm just blocking in my main color areas. I'm not really that concerned about the exact shapes, just kind of getting in darks and lights. Adding dark sand lights to the trees gives them more volume. I don't want the trees to look flat.
with gouache, you can paint over top of the darker colors. And here I'm painting the white over the green, but at the same time, I'm creating the edge of the, of the trees. Lot of shadow in this painting uh, but I will make sure that the ones that I do have I'll put in. If there's some elements that I find a little bit tricky, I'll draw them ahead of time on a scrap piece of paper. And then I can use that to, as reference to draw them into the painting before I paint it. Like I did with the benches, because of the detail involved in the two figures in the foreground, I decided to do them on a separate piece of paper first, and I'll use that to transfer them onto my painting. After I've added highlights to the trees, now I'll do the same for the water. And then I'll start to fill out some of the trees that I feel just to give it a little bit of a better shape. And then I'll be finished.
So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you don't want to miss out on any new videos. Comment if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. Like the video and keep watching either the next video on the left or playlist on the right. See you next time.